Welcome back, everyone. Ellington here, and we are back on Total War Rome 2. This is a 3v3 on the settlement of Diospolis, and this one was sent in by Rabbit. Now, Rabbit is here commanding Massilia, this faction right here. We got some Celtic warriors, Massilia and Cav coming out of the gate and taking on some Seleucid hillmen. Galatian general deciding he wants to go up there and help. Bad idea, because look at that artillery piece looking right down the gun at him. And yes, look at that, isn't it amazing? I remembered to put my paint markers up. Thank you to everybody who left a comment in the comment section reminding me to put my paint back on. So this, like I said, is a 3v3. Now, Rabbit's allies, we have Egypt being commanded by Ted Dog, and Masasely being commanded by Exo. Now, this is going to be really annoying because we have Masasely and Massilia on the same team in the same game, which is really annoying because they're so easy to mix up. For the attackers, we have Galatia being commanded by Civil Regime. We've got Swaby being commanded by Mr. Delos. And finally, Seleucid being commanded by Milan. Now, the cavalry are 105 kills on the Massilian Cav, 77 kills on the Celtic Warriors. Now, remember, majority of both of these kills were pretty much just on Hillmen, so that's why you can see they don't even have come. They're not even close to getting a, um, a Chevron, excuse me. The Lynn Cataphract General for Seleucid getting blasted by the artillery. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Oh, and Javi's from his own Thurio Spears as well. This is not going to go good. I think Seleucid's going to lose his general here. He's trying to get out of it. But remember, as soon as he decides to pull out, he's going to take more losses. Oh my god, stop throwing javies into your own general! Oh, and the artillery. Now remember, this is Lenin Cataphracts. They are slow. They're tanks. They're slow and clumsy. Which means that you can't really, like, you know, do these crazy things with them. They're very, very bleh. Don't turn around and go back into that Seleucid. Oh, that's a terrible idea. What a waste of a general here. The problem is, is like it's it's in no way, shape, or form worth it. You know, we're a couple minutes into the game, into the match, and the Seleucid general is probably going to die. Now, this is the typical attack of Diospolis. You come in here, um, and you're basically typically fighting this right here, and that can be really difficult because any fight here can be hit from over here, and any fight here can be hit from over here. So typically requires some really good archer usage by the attackers. You probably want to get some archers over this way, but you got to be careful because of that gate. That's the tough part. Any archers over here are extremely exposed to a sally out. Um, and then especially, you know, they can't guard against a sally out due to the, the ballista and also more sally out. So makes this area here really difficult. This area get di gets difficult because it's hard to get anything in here to counter any sort of archers or slingers. Sorry, I was getting a drink there. See the Galatian Legionaries, 91 kills, but down to 73 men now. Brown Shield Swordman from Swaby coming in as well. They are initiating combat on the Carrions, but for some reason the Carrions are still throwing jabbies. The Carrions should now be in combat. I'm not sure why they're still able to throw here. Another Glacian Legionary coming in. I'm not particularly sure that the Galatian Legionaries would be what I'm leading off with here. There's some of your heaviest hitting units that you've got as the attackers here, and yet they're the ones that are soaking all of the ammunition of the enemy, 
which means that in all reality you're not getting you're not going to get the full value out of these units 97 kills 21 men 31 men with 130 but no chevron this guy has only lost one um over here we've got 160 kills with 84 that's a little better but still no chevron so I don't, I don't know that I would be leading off with these guys. We do have the Mercenary Seer and Archers in for um, Galatia as well. They should be able to help get rid of the Mercenary Gallic Hunters and things like that. Now, for a little while, the defenders did put up a fight in this little nook here. There, You could travel along this wall. You can see the artillery from Saluka also doing a pretty good job of shelling this position. Is that the only artillery they have, though? Saluka did bring Scythe Chariot, by the way. Don't do it, Saluka. Trust me, what you're thinking right now is not worth it. The problem with this side is you only have one place you can drop. It's right here. That's it. It's the only way into the settlement from this angle. You can bust this down, but without neutralizing it, you're going to lose a ton of men. Calicunter has just started shooting. 71 kills on this one. Desert Legionary is pulling back. I did like so Massilia earlier had actually actually had units, so defended the defending Massilia had units back here that he used to take and search. Because if you don't know, on the settlement of Diospolis. This area right here is actually a deployable area for the attackers. They can guerrilla deploy units here. So things like Gallic Hunters or um, Lusitani Guerrillas, things like that, you can you can you know deploy them inside the settlement. So if new if nobody were to check, you could catch you uh, pretty well awares, unawares. So Swaby doing exactly what I said. Archers over here. Shots into the enemy. But remember what I said? And so far this cavalry is uh, unseen. Oh, don't stop, just go. Ah, uh, you lost it. They should have just gone right out. But unfortunately, as you can see, salute, or Swaby already pulling back and shifting units in. Wolf Warriors, this is a unit we don't see very often. They're not a bad unit, they have a fear effect. I wonder, did Swaby bring the Warrior Gen? No, he didn't. If you're gonna go for a fear effect army, you need to go with the Warrior Gen. So basically you bring, so for Swaby it's really easy. You bring things like Wolf Warriors and, um, oh my gosh, what's the the screaming one? My brain just went dead. Um, do they, so they brought Berserkers, that's another good one to bring. Oh my gosh, I just forgot what they're called. Anyways, there's a, a like a small like fear unit you can bring that like they scream and they're super annoying but they do a fear effect so you bring things like that and then you bring the warrior gen which you can do morale penalties and then you use fire arrows and they all stack on top of each other and you can cause certain armies to just boom break gone Persian lights. I think he's trying to shoot with them, but they can't get an angle, so they're trying to advance forward. Oh no. Club Levy landed over here, just getting annihilated. Do we have some hillmen on this side of the wall, too? Gallic Hunters, 104 kills and 59 kills. They have made, the attackers have made some progress here, but this hurts. They're trying to jab you back, but look at all the javelins that get wasted there. Hillman pulling back a little bit. 
Searin Archer's 112 kills. This is such a dirty position, dude. Master, reload. This attack right here is disgusting. If there's any saving grace, I guess it's the fact that it's still shield side, not sword side. This way you're about to find out that he can't land any of his towers. Because if he hasn't yet, he's going to be in for a rude awakening. How's the artillery doing? We've seen a lot of fire. 153 is not bad. I mean, this is a really tight space. Or, uh, not tight, but there's a lot of units that get stacked in here. Now, we do have a fallback. Look at this. Massilia falling back. But if Massilia is not careful, he's going to get cut off. Okay, so he's holding here. That's good. I was going to say, he's got a large portion of troops here. So it looks like they're just going to hold kind of here. Hot plates holding here. Carrying Axeman, which really is not a very good holding unit, though. The Thorax probably would be better in a spot like that. Don't hold a position with Carrying Axeman, guys. Use them in support. So you, what you do is you put a thorax and then you put a carrying axeman the carrying axeman can do that i don't know what's going on here thorax sword trying to do something okay javi toss on the carrying axeman And if they have time, which they do, I think, yeah, you go surround this. Get rid of it really quick. Miss Aisley had to take the long way home. Such speed. The other side, the hoplite's still holding for now. But it does look like they're well positioned to fall back when needed. Obviously, the hope is that they don't have to fall back. I hate to say they are putting themselves in a little bit of a tough position here because they're really allowing the attackers to bring their full weight of arms to bear. So I'm interested to see how this is go because we got some really tough hitters on the attack here. Galatia, Swaby. It's not like the defending factions are weak, but man, especially like Massilia, I don't know how well Massilia is going to take on a Swaby or a Galatia. Especially not in a straight-up fight. Run, Carrying Axeman, 37 kills, 59 kills. Looks like they're going to hold up here on the, the mountainside. I don't know how much longer the Hoplite's going to hold, but it looks like they're ready to hold this area. They don't seem to be interested in falling back at all. Hop light falling back and switch out with the thorax. Probably a good call. Gallic Hunter's now getting shot. They have 142 kills with the Chevron, so they're doing pretty solid. Now over here we have Thorax Swords. Look at that, 208 kills, but only a Chevron. Usually say a Chevron for about 100 kills is usually a fair trade. Chevron is worth about 500 gold worth of kills. So like the slave infantry, it's gonna take you a ton of slave infantry kills to get a chevron. Carry and Axeman aren't gonna hold very long here. 84 out of 160. They're not a holding unit. Rodian Slinger is getting hit from behind the line. That's a good call by Salukin. 
Although they haven't done very much damage so far, I'm surprised. Cretans have 71 kills. Looks like they're shooting the Gallic or the uh, Syrian archers here. I like this call. Instead of doing this, they're doing this. Once again, it opens up the opportunity for angles. Angles are your friends here. At least if you have the archer advantage, I would say. Scythian, or the Scythian, Scythe chariots are in the settlement as well now. Still got some slave infantry. Gallic hunters with zero kills, untouched. How much is sitting back here? Thorax, Egyptian pikes, probably shouldn't even brought those, they're terrible. Three desert cohorts. Oh, so Masaisley has like his entire army left, got it. I don't know why Masaisley is not taking the initial uh, defense here. They would probably be the best off at taking on, especially Galatia. Thorax, 59 kills, 52 kills. Galatian Legionaries, look at that, 243. More archer fight, 102 kills, 73 kills are taken on the Syrian heavy archers. Side chariots, they tried going in. 140 kills, but now they're just getting blasted by Javis. Ooh, 144, they are uh, broken. They'll probably come back, they're healthy. Swordmaster is going to go in now. Understood. Maybe, maybe they won't come back. I don't know. We'll find out soon. Find out next time on Road to Total War. Syrians gone. 21 kills. That's a big oof, Seleucid. Mercenary Syrians for Galatia. I don't like throwing in the archers like that. When it comes to things like army losses, which is, you know, basically the, the determining factor of how long your army can stay in the fight, um, wasting things like archers is not a good idea. You know, think about it. So let's say you're three Syrians. That's 120 men each, right? So that's 360 men just in your archers. So if you run out of ammo on them and you save them, you know, you put them at the back of the army, leave them you know, healthy as long as you possibly can, the more they kind of float your army losses total, right? They basically help you avoid the threshold that triggers the army losses for the game. It's especially helpful on defense when you may have the possibility of trying to run for time. You know, if your army can't stay in the fight, you can't win by time. So, it's very, very... Uh, you know, important as the defenders, you don't waste men like that. Um, but the attackers, it, it could be important too. What's the point of wasting those lives? You know, when they could be that, you know, make or break, you know, thing that you have at the end of your fight. Wolf Warriors just getting annihilated by Cretan archers. 179 kills a Chevron. That number just went up a ton. Because they have 20 armor. Wolf Warriors are basically like Blood Sworn's big brothers. Oh my god. Look at this Thorax Sword just getting obliterated by the Glacian Legionary. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Now some Miss Aisley showing up for the fight. Desert Legionaries up to up now. We got Tribal Slingers up top. I don't know that they're really getting the greatest angle. I mean, I don't think this 101 kills has come from this. I guess they, they could have been getting the kills on the Thorax. Side Chariots did come back, by the way. 144 kills. They probably won't get very much more than that, though, I'll be honest with you.
to get a counter charge. Nope, just a bunch of javelins. Come on, throw again. Do it again. Up here we go. Oh! My brethren! You know, because it's Thorax Sword versus Thorax Sword. 82 kills, 86 kills. Syrian heavy archers came up, but kind of got their butts whooped, it looks like. Bounce power is slightly in favor of the defenders, but not by much. Look at this tiny Galatian legionary that's somehow all the way over here. How did you get here? You did not just run all the way around here, did you? If you did, that is hilarious. So now we got Thorough Spears in the mix. Glacial Legionaries, 87 kills. Got some Bloodsworn here. Another Bloodsworn. Remember, Bloodsworn and Wolf Warriors, they are high octane units. They are meant to go, 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 go. You throw them in, you pull them out. You throw them in, you pull them out. Cycle them, obviously. Don't just pull them out of combat. Switch them out with another unit. But the whole point of those two units is get the charge bonus. Thorax swords are a little bit more of a stationary unit. They're you know good at standing in place. Ooh, that was a good. I like that. You see that he javied behind, but then went into combat there. Nice call. Look at that, double Chevron Celtic Warrior. Just kind of taking a cinematic view here. Remember, it's on Diospolis. The main cap point is right there. Egyptian pikes still around. But as long as they have archer ammo, those Egyptian pikes need to stay very, 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 very far away. They have 50 armor and 30 base morale. Keep them away from the archers. Got the Royal Thorax Sword General for Egypt in. Lost 20 men, he's got 93 kills. Almost a chevron as well, so he's doing pretty good. Probably want to get that swapped out soon, though. You don't want that general in combat too long right now. Over on the far left, Massilia still holding out, man. 61 kills on a thorax sword. Massilia, I gotta ask, if you're watching, are you using formation attack on this unit? You might want to get rid of that. It really helps the combat effectiveness if you just get rid of it. You pretty well know it's formation attack when they keep that really, really clean formation like that. The problem is it, it means that you have a lot of men in the unit that aren't really doing anything. There are instances where you where formation attack is useful, but I find that probably eight out of ten times you want to take it off. I pretty much immediately remove it at the start of the game. Unless I just forget. 176 kills on the Mer or on the Desert Legionaries. Nice. Okay, we've got the. Uh, Was that raise the banner? Yep. Gypsy General taking a lot of. Ki oh no. Yep. What did I tell you? As soon as they pull these out, this Egyptian pike's gonna get blasted to hell. Right. 
No, he's not shooting the pike. I think he's shooting the general. Rodian's in up with 167 kills. That is a fair target, though. Like, the pikes are a good target as well. And honestly, I think this might be more dangerous, though. You can fight a Royal Thorax Sword. You can't fight a pike. Not head on. Not head on. Ah, there it is. Now they're hitting the pikes. Don't overextend. What's hitting him from over here? Oh, no, he just walked into his own volley. Vasilius General moving across the formation. Sorry, just kind of browsing around here. Thorax, 118 kills, 108 on the Massilian. But then Cataphract moving forward, giving battle rhythm, that's a good call. Got headhunt on the Swordmasters. Wonder, I doubt, no, because he probably raised the banner. Oof. I personally am not a big fan of the, what is that, the Commander General. So the Commander General is what he's got with the Raise the Banner and oh, I can't remember what the other ability is called, but I'm just not a fan. I don't think it really does that much. I re Typically, it's pretty well believed that the best of the, of the general types is the Strategist for one thing, and that is the uh, second wind. Having that, re the, you know, the ability to recoup your energy on your units, you know, again and again and again and again, is hugely helpful. So especially when you have units like Swordmasters that have an ability that makes them exhausted afterwards, being able to second win them, now they can get right back into the fight. And then I, I do have a sweet spot for Warrior, which is, like I said earlier in the match, the Warrior is the morale general. So with that one, you have a cool, two cool abilities. One, you can hit the morale of an enemy unit. And number two, you can basically make it where they can't use an ability for a certain amount of time. I can't remember the, the time period for it. But um, yeah, I really like the, that one as well. Because it means that you, know, you could use it on an enemy general and now they can't use second wind for 30 seconds. Or, or something like that, you know. Um, I think it's 30 seconds. But yeah, so that's that's probably my second favorite of the, of the three main ones. Then obviously there are some special generals for certain factions. Rome has Caesar, Arverni has uh, Vercingetorix, Swaby has, oh my gosh, what is his name? Somebody say it in the comments. I can't think of what the what the Swaby Special General's name is. It starts with an A. My brain wants to say Armenius. It's an Ariovistus. Ariovistus is the Swaby one. And they all have their own like special things that they do. The pro the downside to the Special Generals is that their abilities are one time use. So once you use it, it's done. You can't use it for the rest of the game. While the main three general abilities or options, you can cycle their abilities again and again and again and again and again with a cooldown each time. So looks like Masasi also went the commander general. Those pikes are still alive somehow. Three kills too, look at that. They're already up on the up and up. Carrying axe been pulling out. Thorax swords going back in. 
The Thorax Sword has 100 and, or 89 kills, excuse me, with 159 men left. Pretty good. The generals getting into a fight now. Look at this big push on this side. Massilia and a Massasli unit pushing up again. So we got some wooden ass spears and Hellenic cataphracts. But here come, oh wait, where did the Massilia general, did he just come back inside? Where did he go? They didn't kill him, did they? Well, I think they did. No. Really? Huh. Yeah, they must have killed him. It doesn't say, but Thorax Swords have uh, disciplined anyways. Yeah, so the Massilian General's dead. Whoops. Bet you no boars got him. Yeah, 60 kills. I bet you he did. I don't know how this noble horse got behind here. Pretty sure he shouldn't have been able to do that. It's actually a really big problem. They need the Massilia general to come over, or the Massasley general to come over here. Yes, Armored Numidian riders would be, you know, they'd do a solid job here. Well, he shattered. Never mind. There's one downside, but not one, but it's the big downside to pulling through. It actually is really, really detrimental to the pull through unit because they end up getting kind of slaughtered as they pull through the end. Because you got to remember that because you're like pushing through the unit without an attack command, they basically are not fighting back, which means that the enemy they're, they're pushing through is just getting free attacks on them for nothing. And I think this is when everything falls to pieces. Army Dominion Rider General going to come through, probably start smashing lines in the back here. Saluka General about to be gone. He's dead already, but he's about to be gone, like just gone. Wooden Ass Spear, that's the only general they have left. Cambry Bow Women, 182 kills. Pretty solid. Swordmaster, 119 kills. Going up, get some Thorax Swords. And I think this is pretty much GG. Honestly, a pretty fun fight. Berserkers actually finally got in. Berserk as well, 137 kills. Going up against some Desert Legionaries, but they're going to get surrounded. Forty-two. So when they're berserk like this, they're gonna go. They will literally fight until they are completely and totally gone. Swordmasters are probably gonna. Be, well, they're holding up pretty well, but not for long. 174 now. Look at that. They literally went from like 140 something. You should probably back up and charge back in if you're going to try. Then you just need to kill the Woden Ass Spears. That's pretty much it. Berserkers, did they break or did they just die? I think they just died. Yeah, I don't see any of them running away, so... Go kill the Woden Ass Spears! Turn around. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do with them. He's like, uh, shit. He's trying to go back here. I guess if he can set up at least, maybe he can at least take one charge from the... Midian Riders, but he's not going to set up. He's going to charge back. Should have, you should have braced. Let's 
200 kills? It's not bad for Woden as Spear, really. I think that's basically it. Going fast forward to the end here. The final fight of the Wodenaz. It's actually a good use of the Razor Banner there. All right, let's go ahead and look at some kills here. So leading the defenders, we have Rabbit as Massilia, 2,333 kills. He locked down that side by the wall, man. 159, 244, 210. Look how healthy it is, too. 159, 137 on the Massilia Cav. Very, very nice. The general just got wrecked. Ted Dog is Egypt, 1961. Two archers did pretty well. Slingers did pretty good. Um, carrying Axeman, not, not so hot, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm not a fan of armies like this that brings a huge amount of carrying Axeman. Exo is Masasely, 1854, 134 on the general. And honestly, really healthy army still. And then the infantry that did get in, look at that, 217, 230, 218. Now for the attackers, we have uh, Galatia with e uh, Civil Regime, 1971. The Galatian Legionaries, I mean, they're Galatian Legionaries, guys. It, they, the majority of them did really good. 239, 247. Some of them aren't as good as we would like to see, but I really don't think that... I think that Seleucid should have been kind of the, the initial attacker here with uh, Galatia and Swabian as the secondaries. Um, Mr. Delos as Swaby, 2,487 kills. That's leading the game. Um, honestly, I'm kind of surprised. His archers did great. 204 on the general. The sword masters, to be honest with you, I don't think that is really as good as what we would want to see. Um, the wolf warriors, 135, 144, 101, 119 on the round shields. A couple blood sworn did pretty solid. Berserkers did so, so I guess kind of solid across the board. Milan is Seleucid with 1789. See the general 161, 165 on the cat or on the ballista, 144 on the scythe chariots, archers they did okay, and then infantry they did okay, they did fine. Um, you know, a couple things we would like to see a little bit better, but not bad, not bad. But that is going to be it for today's battle. Thank you guys so much for joining. Don't forget it, that if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We will see you guys next time.